Give him this money and this note, Ronaldo. I will, my lord. You shall do wisely good, Ronaldo. My lord, I did intend it. Mary, well say, very well say. Look you, sir. Inquire me first what things are in Paris, and how, and who, and what me, and where they keep, what this encompassment and drift of question, that they do know my son comes you more nearer than your particular demand will, will touch it, take you as they try some distant knowledge of him. And thus I know his father and this friend in, in part his do you mark this, Ronaldo? Aye, very well, my lord. And in part him, but you may say, not well, but it's be he I mean, he is very wild, addicted so, and so. And there, put on him, where forgery you please, Mary, none so ring, may dishonor him. Take heed of that. But sir, such good companion, note and most known youth and liberty. I, or drinking, or fancy, or swelling, or crawling, or dreadling, you may go as far as so far. Hey, no, as you may season it in the charge, you must not put another scandal on him. That he is open to into inconsiderary that may not may, may not my meaning, but breathe his fault in quality, that they may seem tainted of liberty. The flash and the outbreak of flurry mind, the savage and the real and the wrecking block of general assault. But my lord Wherefore should you do this? I my lord, I do know that. Mary sir, have you my draft that I believe it as which is fought of warrant? You may lay there slightly sorry on my son and try a thing a little sore with the walking. Mark you your party is comment him you would sound ha having ever seen in the phenomena crime the youth you bring up guilty may assure his class will in his com consequence good sir uh, so or friend or gentleman according to the phrase of the addiction of man and country And, the, and then, sir, do at this, and then do, does what I am about to say. By the mask, I was about to say something. Where did I leave? At closes in the consequence. At cho at closes at the consequence. Aye, Mary. He cl he closes thus. I know the gentleman. I saw him yesterday or the other day, and then. Oh then, as such, or oh such. And as you say, there was a gamey, there or a retro in rose, there a falling out of tennis, or oh, a peach tent. I saw him enter such a house, or oh, oh, so. Very delicate, abrupt, or oh, so forth. See you now, your bait or falsehood, take this crap of truth, and thus we a wisdom and of reach, with the wood windless and such a, a last a bias, by indirection find direction out. So, but by my former lecture and advice, you shall you, my son, you have me, and I have you not. My lord, I have. Good, oh, this we ye fare ye well. Good, my lord. Observe his inclination in yourself. I shall, my lord. And let her pity his music. Well, my lord. Farewell.
Hush now, Pavel, what's the matter? My lord, my lord, I've been so frightened. When what's that I think of God? My lord, I was so I was sewing in my closet when Lord Hamlet was his doubled and embraced, no hat on his head. His shocking fold unguttered and down gave me in his ankles, pale in it as his shirt, his knee knocking each other, and with look so piteous and purport as he had been losing out of his hell to speak of horror, he comes before me. Is he mad in love? My lord, I do not know, but truly, I do fear it. What say he? He took me by the wrist and held me hard. Then goes he to the length of all his arm, and with his other hand, thus o'er his brow. He falls to such her soul of my face, as he would draw it. Long stayed he so, after, at last, he shake of my arm, and thrace his head through wave up and down. He raised a shine, so piteous and profound, as did Sim shudder all his bulk, and in his being that done, he lets me go, and with his head over his shoulder turned, he seemed to find his way without his eyes, or out a door he went without his their helps, and to the last bended their light on me. Come, go with me. I will seek the king. This is a very ecstasy of love, whose violent prosperity foretells itself and lead the will to the desperate undertaking, as oft as any passion under the heaven that does afflict on nature. I'm, I'm sorry. What have you given him any hard words of late? No, my good lord. But as you did command, I did repeal his fetter and denied his, across, his access to me. That hath made him mad. I am sorry. That which the better he of my and, and judgment, I had not caught him. I fear he did but trifle, and meant to wreck thee, but see my jealousy. By heaven, it is as possible as our age to cast beyond ourself and our opinion, as it is common for the younger sort to lack discretion and go we to the king. This must be known, which, being kept, might move, and more grief to hide the matter to utter love. Come. Vouchsafe your rest in our court, some little time so by your companies to draw on to his pleasures together, so much as from occasion you may glean, whether aught to us unknown afflicts him, that open lies with our remedy. Good gentlemen, he hath talked much of you, and sure am I, two men there are not living, to whom he more adheres. If it will please you to show us more greatly and goodwill, as to extend your time with us a while for the supply and profit of our hope. Your visitation shall receive us thanks, as it fits the king's remembrance. Both your majesties might, 
by the sovereign power you have of us, put your dread pleasures more into command than to entreaty. We but we both obey and give up ourselves in the full bent to lay our service freely at your feet to be commanded. Thanks, Rosencrantz and gentle Goldenstern. Thanks, Guildenstern and gentle Rosencrantz. I beseech you instantly to our visit. Too much changed son, go some of you, and bring up these gentlemen where Hamlet is. Heavens make our presence and our practices pleasant and helpfulness to him. I amen.